between me and my horse, so that's a direct feel, see? An indirect feel would be me just coming in here and just having him back away from me just putting pressure on. So that would be an indirect feel. There's not anything connecting me to my horse. You can use direct pressure or direct feel in lots of ways. I want to ask him just by pushing towards his chest, and when he moves his feet back, I'll give him a little release. So I'm just going to grab a hold of this halter right here, push towards his chest. When he moves his feet back, I just release him. It's a real simple deal. If your horse will not move his feet back, then you're going to take his nose and go side to side until he does. You see how soft he gets when I ask him? That's what I want to release him is when he's soft. If you got your horse's feet moving and he gets soft, that's the time to release. The timing is real important. When his feet are moving back and he's real soft, there's no pressure leaning on me, then I'm going to release him. Let's go ahead and give that a try. Get that working pretty good for you. We're going to put a little bit more in there for you to play with. The object is to try to back them straight. Some of you might back them uh, in a half circle accidentally. I want you to back them in a half circle on purpose here in a little bit. So try to back them up straight right now. Think about what those front feet are doing and try to keep those feet straight. If the hindquarters is drifting away, then push the shoulders over and try to line the shoulders back up with them. Drops are too low. I'll get a little more bumping. So just, all right. No, I'm just getting tired to hold on underneath your hand. If he starts acting like that, I'll just keep going until something, until that changes. See, when he starts getting lined out and his head comes down a little bit, then I'll ease off. I'll ask him again. Yeah, we'll take that. Ask him again. Move their head back and forth a little bit till they drop their head. And I'll rub them. Move their head a little bit. And then drop their head, I'll quit. If they're resisting you and the head goes up, just keep steady pressure on there until they bring it down. If they back up, just go with them. Just do not, do not release that pressure off the top of their head. your arm like that. Just drop it or put it across his neck. You can just throw it up over his neck if you want. You can get him to drop his head down. Tiffany. Don't get right in front of your horse. Get to the side. There you go. That looks pretty good. good. There you go. All right. Uh, I want to see if you can stand here by the side of your horse. And keep about a couple feet of rope between you and your horse. And you can even put your hand on their neck if you want and see if you can flip that rope up over their back a little. If they move, you just keep flipping the rope until they stop moving. See, he's going to move a little. I'm just going to keep flipping that rope over his back when he stops, and I will stop, and I'll pet him a little bit, and then I'll just start again. This is not any big deal, but it might show me if your horse has got a spot in there that he needs a little work on. that though is we're going to see if we can get these guys just to tip their heads over here to us. I'm just going to stand here with my hand on his withers or on his shoulders 
and real light and easy ask him just to tip his head over to me. If he does not want to do that, then I will bump his nose a little bit or I will just hold at first. Like I would just hold, if he was leaning on that, I would just hold and if he wouldn't come off of it, I'd just bump it real light and easy, see? And whenever he comes over as far as I want, then I'll drop it. As soon as he gets where I want him, I'll just release him. Just drop Constant. Like I would just stand here, there you go, and she gives just, he gives just that little bit and that's enough. And then pretty soon he'll reach. And they, there are all kinds of spots that horses like to be rubbed and scratched. I like to find them. And I've come in here. They can't reach this spot right here, and this is usually a good one right there. They'll get to where they like that. And a lot of times in behind the ear, they'll just kind of like that. See, you just lean right into that. Oh, that feels really good. So I'm going to stand here. I'm going to ask him to flex his head around. And I'll have to do this on both sides so everybody can see me. Now I've got his head flexed around, I'm going to imagine where my leg would hang on his, on his side. And I'm going to take my thumb and I'm going to push on his rib cage. And whenever he moves away from it, it usually don't take more than a couple hours, then I'll stop. He's sniffing it. They won't stand here bent like this very long without something changing. And I'll wait on him. And he's looking right now. He's thinking, what the heck do I need to do here? If he backs up, I'll just go with him. I don't want him to do anything but take this foot, step it in front of that foot, and move his hindquarters away. Come on. See how he's stepping even? That's not what I'm looking for. I might have to take that in the beginning, but he knows how to do this. There, I'll take that one. I'll tell you, I'll explain to you. And he's moving away from it, and I keep going. He's going to quit moving away from it eventually. So I make sure that when he moves his feet, when he moves his feet away, so they can move it. As long as the rope is on the other side, of the horse. So I'm on his left side, my rope's on his right side. I'm going to go real slow and just rub on him and scratch him until I get this rope all the way back here and let it just fall around his rear end and I'm going to step over here out of the way and let him just unwind away from the rope. Now what happened, I work our way back, let it drop off, step back here out of the way and let the hindquarters yield away from that rope. Yeah, okay. You gotta get, your arms need to be about a foot longer. And, and I'm just gonna point to the left. And this is just a big exagger, exaggeration. You don't have to point, but it's like I'm pointing and saying, Cody, I want you to move to your right, which is my left. Now I've got this in my other hand, in my right hand. And I'm going to take one step with my right foot, and I'm going to lean a little bit and swing that rope towards that right shoulder. And when he moves his shoulder over like that, I'll quit. Now, typically what happens when you first try to get them to move that shoulder and go around you instead of right through you. I see you're getting first. Point, step, 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 there. He takes that nose away, I bump him. He takes that nose away, I bump him. Right there, see? I want that shoulder to round out and away from me. There we go.